Hey guys, how's it going? Um, you know what these things are? Of course you do, you're not dumb. These are brake rotors. These eventually will be going on the deuce. Um, you may or may not have seen it in another video at this point. I, as usual, don't know what order I'm going to post this in. So, um, This is this brake kit. It's in the works. Um, it's going to be a while before it all goes together, but it is coming up uh, eventually. So I'll tell you when. I had a problem with this. Um, I brought them home from the Georgia rally last October, and as you can see, they got some rust on them. Well, they had rust all over the back, and you can see the staining still from where they were rusted. Um, rust isn't cool, right? Especially on something you know isn't going to be used for a while. Because rust is not going to get better as it sits, is it? No. Um, so what I needed to do is treat these with something, and as you can see, it has been treated. Uh, but first, you got to remove the majority of the rust, and you got to kill it. So when it comes to removing and killing light surface rust, I don't use anything special. I use um, <laughs> just plain white white vinegar from a grocery store. It's uh, acetic acid. It's strong enough, and I use paper towels and a little wire brush. So. What I do with that is I double up some paper towel, so I make them nice and thick, and lay it on whatever I'm working on, and I soak it with vinegar. And I will kind of scrub it lightly, and uh, make sure the whole surface is moist, and do that to all of them. That's what I did to all of these. And then I'll go back to the real heavy areas with a small wire brush, and I'll just uh, disturb it, you know, uh, you don't have to scrub real hard if it's just surface rust. There's no pitting. So uh, let it sit overnight. Make sure the surface is fully wet. Uh, you know, fully uh, fully covered with a film, a thick film of vinegar. As thick as it will be without running off. Uh, let it sit overnight. When you come out the next day, it'll have like a surface that looks kind of gel-like on it. What you do then is you take your fresh paper towels you just wipe it off um, then you can go back with if you want you can go back with some um, soap and water or brake cleaner whatever and you can clean the rest off but you really don't have to and as you can see you can probably see right there that smear mark I didn't go back and clean the rest off once the rust is neutralized uh, with the acetic acid it's it's done it's not going to rust anymore so then you treat it with your anti-corrosion uh, or your corrosion inhibitor which is kind of what I wanted to show you I don't I don't remember if I've shown you guys this before because I don't use it that often but when I have stuff that's gonna sit around for a while um, and that is you know bare steel stuff that I'm worried about might get rusty um, there's a few different corrosion inhibitors you can use but the one I use the most is um, fluid film and um, I haven't found a better thing to use yet. This stuff doesn't evaporate. It doesn't run. Um, it's not. It's not nasty to deal with, um, and it's not expensive. So uh, I usually I buy this by the case. You can get it by the can, of course. Um, but I'll show you the the features here. It uh, protects all metals. It does. It's not harmful to any metal. It will not attack anything, uh, even um, uh, brass or anything like that. It's it's totally inert. Uh, it's lanolin based, which is why it's it's inert. Uh, being a superior lubricant, I don't know about that. Um, I just use it for a preservative. No solvents, long lasting, non toxic, non hazardous. All of that is true. Okay. Um, it does have an interesting. I'll put it that way. An interesting smell when you first spray it on. Um, it may be a little off-putting, but it goes away in a day or two, and then it just leaves the rest of the, the coating behind. And actually, the cans come with a nice lid. It actually will uh, hold the straw extension, so you don't have it sitting on the shelf like that, where you put another can on the shelf and it knocks it off, and then you're without your extension. Um, so it's very well self-contained, I guess is what I'd what I'd call it. Um, 
Now, you do have to shake it. And uh, to clean this off, all you gotta do is use some hot water. Uh, you don't wanna let this sit out, obviously, in the rain because water is what you're supposed to use to clean it off with. You can, now, you can use a solvent, brake cleaner, or whatever, but it's, it is water soluble. Um, but it doesn't allow moisture to penetrate from the air, which is kind of interesting, the formulation of it. Um, now, as you can see over here, I don't know if you can see, yeah, see the water beaded up on the surface here? The same over here. That is from um, the roof of the shop. If you look here, this line, it's so humid here in Louisiana that during the night sometimes condensation will collect on the stringers up there and drip off and it leaves just lines of water, water droplets everywhere. So it's doubly important that I use this in here. And that's not going to wash it off. Now it would eventually if I left it sitting there and it kept dripping on it over time. Um, but as far as just from humidity and ambient moisture, this stuff is great. Um, it is not good for something that's going to be handled. Uh, if you're using it for like um, tools and stuff, it's fine if you're going to put them away and, and they're going to be in storage for a while. But if you're using them on a daily basis, this is not your best option because it doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't dry and leave a like a hard film or anything. In fact, I'll show you right here. It stays kind of uh, pasty, I guess I'd say. But uh, it doesn't. It's not like you can just wipe it off and it's gone. So, um, in fact, I use this on my lathe and all when I remember. And you see the bed there is not really rusty now. The places where I handle it a lot, they do get rusty. So, and when you spray it on, it's not a really uh, high pressure. In fact, this one, this can has been sitting around so long it's starting to clog up because I don't use it often enough. Hmm. It is kind of thick. I will give it that. But I think the last time I sprayed any of this stuff was a couple of years ago. I did the chuck and all. And, yeah. I mean, it doesn't evaporate but it will wipe off and wear off. So if it's something you want to set up on a shelf or put away for a long time, this is probably your best option. If it's something you're going to use fairly often, it's not. Um, but if you're interested in some of that, uh, getting it yourself, like I said, I usually buy it by the case. It is also available in like, a, you know, the paint cans and, and gallon jugs and stuff. If you want to use it that way, that's up to you best way I've found to use it is in a spray can so uh, I will put a link in the description below where you can get this stuff um, so if you want it you can find it down there anyway I just wanted to show you that it's been a long time um, I kind of try to show you know the the things that I use to make my life easier because it should you know at least in theory make your life easier as well so but let me see if that was just, yeah, the tip is clogged. I didn't shake it enough, I bet. I've been sitting around too long. So shake well. Shake well before use, gentlemen and ladies. Appreciate you watching. Uh, like, subscribe, share, all that cool stuff. Comment down below. Tell me what you think of this stuff, if you've got any of uh, personal experience with it yourself, how it turned out for you. Um, I've never heard any complaints about it from anyone else, but... There's always somebody that hasn't had good luck, so I'd like to hear it if you're one of those guys. Uh, check us out on Patreon. Link to that is also in the description below. Catch you next time. Later.